Never trust your brain; it lies to you, remembers things wrong, and reacts before thinking. But why? That question launched a field that changed everything: psychology. In this video, we'll break down where psychology began, who shaped it, and why it matters more today than ever. Let's rewind, way, way back, like ancient Egypt. They believed the heart controlled thoughts, not the brain. Fast forward to ancient Greece. Hippocrates said the brain was the seat of mental life. Finally, a win for the brain. Plato thought the mind and body were separate. Aristotle disagreed. Psychology was already starting arguments. In medieval times, most people thought mental illness was caused by demons. Yep, no scientific method yet. Then came the Renaissance. Descartes dropped the "I think, therefore I am" bombshell. He pushed the idea of dualism: mind and body are separate. Fast forward to the 1800s, psychology starts to grow legs. People begin studying the mind like it's a science. In 1879, Wilhelm Wundt opens the first psychology lab in Germany. That moment, that's psychology's birthday. Wundt studied reaction times. He wanted to measure the mind like a machine. Nerdy, yes. Revolutionary, also yes. Then came structuralism. Edward Titchener tried to break the mind into pieces, like trying to understand a phone by studying each chip. But in America, William James had a different take. He said, "Let's focus on what the mind does, not just what it is." That was functionalism. Inspired by Darwin, James thought mental processes help us survive. Thinking isn't random; it has purpose. Enter the drama. Sigmund Freud, his theory: your unconscious mind, the stuff you don't even realize, drives everything. Freud used dreams, slips of the tongue, and weird childhood memories to dig into the unconscious. Wild times. Then came the behaviorists. Ivan Pavlov taught dogs to drool at bells. Behavior is greater than thoughts, they said. B. F. Skinner trained rats with rewards. And punishments, no dreams, no feelings, just behavior you can see. For a while, psychologists basically ignored the mind. If they couldn't see it, they didn't want to study it. Then, boom, the cognitive revolution. Psychologists brought the mind back into the spotlight. Memory, language, decision making, all fair game again. Thanks to new tech like brain scans, we could finally see how the brain behaves. Psychology leveled up. Some said psychology forgot about the human part. Humanistic thinkers like Carl Rogers focused on growth, empathy, and free will. Abraham Maslow introduced a hierarchy of needs: food, safety, love, and finally self-actualization, like climbing a staircase to your best self. Psychology also started asking: How do culture, gender, and race shape our thinking? The field kept growing. Today, psychology blends biology, culture, behavior, and tech. It's everywhere: in classrooms, hospitals, apps, even ads. Ever wonder why you check your phone a hundred times a day? Psychology can explain that too. Let's recap: ancient myths, philosophy, science lab, Freud, behaviorism. Cognitive revolution, modern psychology. That's the journey. Now that you've watched the video, let's see how much you remember. Head to the link in the description where you'll find Quizlet content made just for you.